President Yom Seveni, while commissioning the Bukaras Agricultural College on Tuesday, said the country's biggest challenge is a huge labor market and the lack of incomes at the household level, not infrastructural development. He said a lot of households are struggling with income generation and that improving it has been his priority since 1986. <laughs> President Yom Seveni, after commissioning the facilities that included the Jewish processing plant, the calf and steer pen, feed mill, zero grazing, a piggery and poultry unit, a biogas, a pullet and later barns and library, urged the people in Luero to support government programs. <laughs> The First Lady and Minister for Education and Sports re-echoed government's commitment to empower the training of the youth in the country to match the job market. Government is committed to implement an aggressive campaign to turn around the image of technical education in this country. Explaining the skills attained at the college, an undergraduate student at Bukalasa College pursuing a diploma in livestock and business management, Rebecca Dick, asserted to Church of Uganda Family TV that the skills she has acquired during her stay at the college will help her improve her livelihood. We have different sectors. We have the diary where you're seeing our cattle. We are having the piggery sector and as well the poultry work sector. Uh, we are having different breeds. So far we have four breeds in our livestock farm here. We are having uh, Haisha, we are having Ganze, we are having Frisian and uh, the Jesse. Me as a student, I benefit in a way that every day I get the practical. The government of Uganda received a hundred million U.S. dollar grant financing from the World Bank for the Skills Development Project SDP to enhance the capacity of institutions to deliver high-quality demand-driven programs. Eleven million U.S. dollars was used at Bukalasa College to renovate and improve the facilities. According to the Minister of Agriculture and Mall Industry and Fisheries, it's government priority to improve technical capacity through skills development. What's happening with most of government institutions in, a, in the education sector, in the skilling sector, is that it's no longer just only teaching and being theoretical. There is clear demonstration of practical skills. The Skills Development Project aims at creating a scalable model of vocational and technical training skills linked to the labor market. The graduates of Tibet institutions have requisite skills for employment. Uh, skilling will uh, uh, be a, a blessing in that uh, our students will learn to do things uh, um, with, with their hands um uh, and uh, they'll, they'll be they'll be doing, doing, uh, doing uh, several projects that will promote uh, not only their knowledge but also their income Bukarasa College which was started in 1929 is one of the 12 training institutions that benefited from the World Bank funding for skills development the Agricultural Tertiary Training Institution operates under the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries.